Hello, and welcome to my Persona 4 Golden playthrough. Yeah, I pretty much teased this game the entirety of uh, the ending of No More Heroes, and also for Castlevania Laments of Innocence. So, yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite games, and it's also one of my all-time favorite JRPGs. Let me go put it, put it on normal. This is going to be a bit of a different playthrough. It's going to be a New Game Plus game... Uh, New Game Plus playthrough, so I can kind of just have all the uh, uh, social attributes at their max and be able to uh, just progress through the story a lot quicker. It's also so I can do the social links a lot easier. This is going to be just like my Knights playthrough, so if you're hearing this, you're watching the uncut version. But there will be another version for cutscene convenience like this, and for dialogue, because this game has really amazing music, uh, voice work, etc. All that stuff. So I'm sure some people just want to watch the game for just the game and not hear me. So if you, if that's all you want to do, be my guest. This is that's perfectly fine. What I'm going to be trying to do for this, I'm going to do somewhat of a unique playthrough. I'm just going to use for battle purposes just the initial persona that you get. I'm going to also try using uh, Mr. or Mrs. K A D F C. Max New Game Plus Social Link Guide for, you know, more story and more dialogue. So, I feel like that might help, uh, you know, that's also for story purposes. But first, we're going to meet our good friend Igor here. Ah, it seems we have a I love Igor. He's voiced by the one and only Dan Warren. My name is and he's just, despite his appearance, he's actually a good character. He's appeared in all four Persona games. This place exists between dream and reality. My and Dan Warren sells it amazingly. It is a room. I'm a huge fan of voice work, and Dan Warren was just contract. is just amazing in this. Everybody's amazing in this. I'll get into that later. You in the near future. Now. Why don't you now, for yourself? the purpose of this playthrough, I'm going to go ahead and use the main character's canon name. That is, Yu Narakami. I know, you probably... It's not fun, it's, uh... You're probably expecting, like, oh, Kenpachi Ramasama, or, uh, Bonerface Senpai, or... Oh, not new. It's... You. Wait. No, wait. What? <laughs> Whoops. Oh boy, the people who are watching this without the uh, without the uncut commentary are probably going like, "What the fuck is he doing?" Yeah, that should be a fine name. I like, like I said in my uh, Bloodborne quick playthrough. I see. Now I prefer to play uh, canon names as opposed to just making them up on the spot. If the, if the character does have a canon name or one that fits appropriately. You believe in fortune telling. So this is actually. A big part of most of the Persona games. It has a lot to do with the Arcana, which is very similar to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And I know I'm talking a lot, and I'm just I'm just trying to explain a little bit before, you know, before we get the game started, so I can kind of just explain my purpose here. Tower is never a good card to get for your first. Uh, it seems for the like a terrible catastrophe is Yeah, dead. for your beginning of your journey. The card indicating the future beyond that is the moon in the upright position. 
This card represents. I like that little inflection that he adds to it. Mystery. Very interesting indeed. It's basically what I'm going to be trying to do for this playthrough is get it done before September. That's when Persona 4 Dancing All Night comes out. And uh, before Persona 5, hopefully. days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning so, point in your destiny. I'm going to try getting this done as quickly as possible, but also so we can kind of enjoy the ride and the story together. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not... See, Igor is a cool guy. I enjoy him. And Dan Warren always makes him sound very pleasant to listen to. Neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Which really upset me whenever, uh... Vic Mignogna voiced him in Persona 4... In Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. My name is Margaret. Nothing against Vic, he's a fine voice actor. I've actually met him, he's a very nice guy. But still, it... It just feels wrong. Until then... Farewell. It just feels wrong if somebody besides Dan is not voicing this character. I'm gonna turn my mic up just a pinch. Oh. I'm sure this character will not be important in the least bit. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. I love you, Laura Bailey. You're so cool. Please come back to Persona 4 Dancing All Night. I need you. It's just not the same. I'm a little broken up because in Persona 4 Dancing All Night, Laura Bailey's not voicing that character. And I'm not going to reveal her name until we meet her, but still. Oh wait, they already... That's Risei Kujikawa because they already explained who that is in the intro. And also this game is a little old, so I guess I can kind of reveal the names here. Oh, and there's our hero, Yu Narakami. Well, uh, sure that you all know it just bums me out. The end of this month, he will be transferring to. They had a lot of voice actors who got their. They had a lot of voice actors who they uh, switched out. In fact, for the golden version, uh, the voice actors for two of the characters who I will tell you whenever we meet them. Oh wait, they already. I keep saying whenever we meet them, they showed them on the screen for the intro uh, cutscene. Chie and Teddy got new voice actors. As I mentioned in uh, Lament of Innocence, Teddy used to be voiced by Dave Wittenberg. We will arrive at the and in this game, he's voiced by one Sam Regal. Both of whom are very, very talented, but... Uh, I guess some people didn't really like Dave's performance in the original vanilla version of this game, but I thought it was fine. You know? I, I didn't mind it. And we're about to go meet somebody in front of the Yasuo Inaba... Uh, I wonder who these two characters are. Oh, should we go soon? Hi, JB Blank. Hi, Karen Strassman. Again, now, uh, Karen Strassman actually voiced a character in the previous Persona game, Persona 3. And I chose this one because it's a little bit easier to get into than, say, Persona 3 Portable. And it's also a little bit lighthearted, more lighthearted, a little bit, a little bit more. The other one was a bit more doom and gloom. And I also, this was also the game that introduced me to the Persona series. Although I have played all of them, with the exception of Eternal Punishment, I really need to get back on that. But uh, and yeah, I can definitely after playing Persona One and Two, I can definitely say yeah, this one has made leaps and bounds. But that doesn't mean One and Two are bad. Anyway, oh, and JB Blank. For those of you who watched my Klonoa playthrough and watched the English cutscene hey, version, over here. there he is. That is the voice of Gaudius. I love you, JB Blank. Well, you're more handsome in person than in and your. And you mother. sound really handsome, JB Blank. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll That's a very you. interesting way to introduce yourself. You, you look really mother's sexy. Mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Not your uncle, your mother's younger brother. Uh, let's go at this one. It's nice to meet you. Huh. you oh, don't be don't so remember, modest. I've seen you naked. Diapers before, you know? 
Everybody remembers that Heems Day uh, comic. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to And your meet one of the best child characters in a video game who's not fucking annoying. Oh. oh. Hi, Nanako. <laughs> what are you so shy for? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, kids just always slap their parents on the asshole. That's what they do whenever they're nervous or they're shy. Well, then. Let's get going. I remember whenever I was nervous and my dad was introducing me to people, he'd be like, what are you shy for? Just slap him on the ass. Oh, but this character's new. Hey. This character was not in the vanilla version. And she is voiced. And this, uh, Whatever. anime anime girl is voiced by one Eden Regal, who I believe is Sam Regal's wife, but don't quote me on that. I'm sure we'll get to know her relatively in the near future. So yeah, Persona 4 The Golden Beast has a lot more additions, obviously, than the vanilla version. The graphics look a lot nicer, it has better improved combat, uh, which I'll get into because that actually complements to my playthrough for this particular game. Um, there's also more story. Hi, welcome to Momo. Oh. You know, they don't have this anymore in the, the... They don't have this anymore in the States, to my knowledge. Uh-huh. At least not in Louisiana. It'd be a little weird. Did somebody say fill her up? <laughs> it's in the back, to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chops Don't patronize say. the little girl. I know. Yeah, I'd be like, fuck, I know my left my right is, peasant. Are you taking a trip? I want to see how that's your business. No, we just went to pick him up. Nah, we that's weird. The big city. The city, huh? I fill up my car while you're at it. Ah, uh, I forget who the gas station attendant is voiced by. Good times, anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to that later. Okay, so taking a really. Are you in high school? Yes, I am. By the way, no, I'm in college. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time I was jobs. told there was video games here. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Oh boy, working at a gas station. Sounds fun. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. <laughs> well, that person seems nice. Oh, I should get back that to work. That person of undeterminable gender, who I'm going to assume is female. And now we have a headache for some reason. Hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Hmm. Uh, okay. So, right, before I get off topic. What's wrong? You okay? Uh-huh. I just feel, felt lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. So, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do here is... Let me I'm going to take way. requests for uh, this particular playthrough. Oh, and this is also new for uh, this is also new for the golden version. You actually get to explore the town, and you and I believe in the uh, I believe in the vanilla version, you were kind of just confined to going right to the Dojima household. But in this, you can kind of explore the town. Hey, look, it's that girl we met. I met you just now. Oh, it's playing Heartbeat. Dale North of Destructoid actually did a really good cover of this song. We'll be coming to the bookstore later. We don't have to, but yeah, that's part of a, that's another part of a uh, side quest. Right. Request. Uh, oh, quick thing. You might wonder why this butterfly is here. This is actually a reference to Persona 1 and 2. You see, a little spoiler here. Uh, in Persona 1 and 2, Igor wasn't the master of the Velvet Room, as that place was known. There was actually one before it. And it wasn't just him and Margaret. There was actually a, uh, a blind paint, a blind pianist, a phantom, like a opera singer. There was, uh, there was an opera singer who sang the Aria of the Soul, which is the song that plays during the Velvet Room. And there was also, um... Another there's also a painter who uh, who painted demons for you to uh, 
or who painted Arcana cards for you to use. Let's just go ahead and talk to everybody. Oh, I think that, uh... Oh, these two uh, students are actually important, and I think one of them is... A me one of them is very story important. The girl is story important. The boy is actually a later social link, so we'll get to him later. I like this store. It's very nice. Right, request. Sorry. Oh, wait. I'll get back on the butterfly thing. Uh, right, real quick. So, in this game, it has, there's obviously social links that you can perform. And there's also links that you can do with female uh, teammates or female classmates in this game. So, I'm going to leave it up to you guys, if you care, to decide, hey, who do I want to S rank with? Or who do I want to get to rank 10 with and go with the girlfriend route? If you have any choices, I don't want this to be like a huge debate in the comments or whatever. Uh, if you have a request, please let me know and I'll try it. And if you, you all have varying opinions, I'll try to do it the most fair way I can. Besides that, uh, if nobody has any requests, I'll just go on the one that I was going to go with. Oh, that's sweet, Nanako. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and get on the road. Uh... So, if you have a choice for that, please let me know. I'll try as being as fair as possible. Also, if you have a particular persona that you want to see during this ga during the gameplay, again, let me know. If not, I'm just going to stick with my initial persona for the majority of the game. And maybe show off... And I'll definitely show off the entire... Uh, all the personas that you can get in the game at the end of the LP. And I'll also uh, show off a bunch of other cool stuff. All right. that's oh, that's nice of JB. Thanks, JB. Or Ryotaro. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, right, the butterfly. Uh, yeah, so, so apparently... Busy as always. They're working over I guess. I know it's only for you, uh, let's see. Stuck in a place like this right, Igor actually worked for a guy That's rough being named uh, Philemon. Well, who is the ultimate go embodiment go of so nice good like you, in right? this particular game. As so long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself Thanks. at home. Thank you for your kindness. I'm gonna try to be nuts. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be. Surprised. Again, I've seen you naked. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all. Oh, she'll slap you on the ass. Don't test her. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling it this? I time? bet it's Raiden. Oda show. Ojima speaking. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Oda show. Split it wide open. Very good, Raiden. So, uh huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. So, Ryotaro Dojima, our Sorry, uncle, is actually a detective. So, naturally, he has a lot, a really uh, huge no, no, no. workload that kind of no, keeps him away no, from no, his no. daughter. Okay. And that naturally makes Nanako feel sad. Right, Philemon. He's the physical embodiment of good. He's also the guy who gives, who allows Igor to summon uh, personas for the earlier cast. And after, and his, uh, the thing that represents him is a butterfly. So it's kind of just him watching over all future, uh, all future protagonists, besides just just besides Persona's one protagonist and Tatsuya. I'll try getting most of this conversation out of the way during gameplay instead of cutscenes and stuff. What does your dad do? That's cool. My dad's a detective. I'll try getting more, uh, Persona trivia and anime trivia. Hell, even maybe some JoJo trivia here and there. Try to kind of spice it up a little bit here and there, but again, if you don't really care to hear me talk, just watch the, uh, regular version instead of the uncut edition. If you appreciate that kind of stuff, then please, take a listen. Again, for this first episode, I'll try to be a little more quiet. I was just trying to give kind of an idea of what I want to do. The news is boring. Let's watch cartoons. 
Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Aren't you going to Oh. That's the best little theme song. It's so cool. It's so adorable. Every day's great at your Juness. No, you can't watch TV. A quiz show. There. Actually, part of the, uh, you should leave her alone. Part of the golden edition, uh, one of the little bonuses they threw in was there's actually a quiz show. There's some fried rice. Mmm, fried rice is good. It doesn't really do, it has no taste at all. Yeah, uh, in here you can organize uh, ingredients and make little lunches for any particular classmates or social link partners to kind of help study along the process. This calendar is your save point. So, use it frequently. Because trust me, SMT games and Atlas games in general are very difficult. But this is a little more manageable. Oh, look at this. Look at that. There's a trophy with the plaque, Midnight Trivia Miracle Quiz. I actually did the uh, Midnight Trivia Miracle Quiz, which is a bonus thing that you can do. It basically is, it's a little quiz show for most of, your, for most of uh, what goes on during the game. And it's actually there for a trophy. I've actually platinumed this game, so yes, I even got the Hardcore Rosette Fan Trophy. And believe you me, that one is a bitch to get. This is actually where gameplay starts. So, yeah, I'll try to throw in a more persona and anime, JoJo even, or just SMT uh, trivia as the game progresses. Like, at least during these, during dungeon sections. But for this first episode, I'm just kind of, we're just kind of getting into the meat and bones of things. So this, oh, and also since I've beaten the game, I can actually change the difficulty and affect how much XP, money, retries in dungeons or battles, damage taken or given, I can change all that. So that's a little bonus that, that makes the game a little bit more accessible for newcomers to the series, which I find very welcome. And there's also a lot more stuff that makes the game more accessible than the vanilla version. Again, I will get into that when we get there. Do you seek the truth? That's another thing, uh, that's probably one of the main themes of this game. It's seeking the truth, or finding, or dispelling lies. Each Persona game has kind of a theme, and that will, and I'll get into that more. Again, this is kind of just, alright, so, basic goals for this, for this playthrough is A, Get all the social links done. B. Uh, fight off the super boss. That'll be a thing I show. Show off all the features that this game has to offer. Uh, oh, if you guys have a particular party arrangement that you want me to go for, please let me know. Show off any secret bosses here or there. Show off all dialogue. Not all dialogue options, but the. I'll try to go for the funniest or best dialogue I can. So this is how battle works. You have a few options. You can attack, you can use your skill, which is a little bit of a spoiler, I guess. By pressing attack, you use the weapon that you're currently equipped with. Skills can range from elemental spells to physical attacks to buffs and debuffs. Or your healing spells. And if you press the triangle button, you can actually rush and it'll just automatically attack for you. Which is a decent way in case you just want to grind. I really like this game. I really, really, really like this game. It is probably one of my all-time favorite RPGs and probably one of my all-time top five, at least, favorite games that I've ever played. I know that's probably saying some stuff about me, 
And, you know, yeah, this game is pretty anime. Hell, an anime was made of it. And it's probably the most popular uh, game in the S&T series. Or, or it, definitely in the Persona series. Considering it has so many spin-offs made of it. Good morning. But there's a reason for that. It's because the game is fun. It's good. Trust me, I would highly recommend okay. buying it or playing it Let's if you have not already. Do you do the cooking? That's good. I can barely do the egg part. All I can do is cook pizza. And make sandwiches. I'm getting shown up by a grade schooler. Shit. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Persona 5. And honestly, I hope it surpasses this game. Because this game and Persona 3 have kind of cast such a huge shadow... That, you know, I love these games, and I probably will st and I probably love them for freaking as long as, uh, for quite a while. This will probably be one of my favorite games for, you know, all time. But I do want Persona 5 to go even bigger and better. Look at this chuckle fuck. Oh, Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> You're playing such a fucking loser. Later, nerd. <laughs> have fun have fun with your smash nuts. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we don't have to deal with that guy anymore. God, what a pathetic loser. What a sad sack of shit. <laughs> That'd be Yosuke Hanamura. The resident best friend character in this game. Ah, uh, uh, Yosuke's awesome. The homeroom teacher here is Morooka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day. I Sam Regal. Year. Hey, you guys! I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city. In He's this super class. hot and hunky. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer. Hi, Aaron Fitzgerald. Just like you, huh, Yosuke? AKA Kung Fu Waifu. Yeah, um, I don't want Dude, you hit your nuts, okay? It hurts, but it's not something that ruins your entire day. Who knows? I forget who voices uh, Yukiko. All right, shut your Hi, Kirk eyes. Thornton. How are you doing? I'm Kinshiro Moraoka. Your homeroom teacher from today. Okay, forward. this is the current voiceover for Shadow the Hedgehog. First things first. Just because it's spring, keep that in mind. Mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven. You kids snow. and your sex and your rock and roll. Now I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's guy. Ooh. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better... Ooh, Kirk Thornton's getting saucy with us. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. You calling me a loser, old man? Yeah. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. <laughs> Suck it. Now listen up. This Occasionally there will be options like uh, dialogue choices that you can choose that will increase certain social aspects. I didn't really need to do that one considering my courage is all the way up. Abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I want to say Kirk Thornton voice Harry Mason in Shattered Memories. Checking your life journals and your my place and your copyright infringements. Mm. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Love you, Aaron. You're so cool. Yeah, sure. You hear that? You see, I loved you and Catherine. So hurry up and sit down already. Aaron Fitzgerald's a cool lady. She seems like she'd be nice and really cool. He's the worst, huh? 
Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Kirk Thornton does seem like he'd be a little crotchety at times. For a year. Considering that's how he's always typecasted. Sucks to be the transfer student. Hi, Johnny Young Bosch. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be voicing the main character. He won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Hi, Lara Bailey. Again. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps. I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. You will respect my fucking overbite, or I will chomp your head off like a damn beaver. Rawr. Seriously, you could take down trees with those teeth. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. How do you t how do you like speak that that lo like that with teeth that size? Attention, all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further. Ooh, notice. that sounds dire. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He has a perpetual stick up his ass, that's why he walks that way. Getting on my nerves. Dude, check it out the police! Did something happen? Don't those ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Huh. I wonder why. I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Huh yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. And I heard this? I heard that she totally was super hot. Are you serious? Rumor loving students. That'll be another thing that's kind of, uh. Hey, hey Yukiko san. Mind if I ask oh you? Oh boy. Is it true that announcer staying at your family's. This inn? rumors were actually a huge, uh. Discuss such things. Was actually a. Huge yeah, thing in Persona 2. That was actually a huge gameplay mechanic. Here, that's just them being dicks. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? Oh my gosh. There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. Aw. Uh, By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? And here's the whole crux of the game. You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not What yet. is it? What happens on rainy nights? Uh, that's okay. It's just I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, "My soulmate is Yamano." The <laughs> it freaking Attention, rains all the time, and I'm generally up at around midnight. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible, and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. What? Holy what? shit, an incident! I gotta go, guys! Come on, let's go take a look. I don't think you're allowed, is the thing. Whoa, an incident? Better go check it out. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Well, Why don't you come with us? If, you, uh, if you insist, oh, ladies. I'm not blind, Chie. Well, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you too. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize. That's one of that. Yukiko's personality traits. They got this whole rough and tough and fancy and reformed vibe going on. Oh boy, here comes a recurring motif right now. Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. See ya. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Oh! Ah! What were you doing to the DVD? Oh, my trial of the dragon! I think mine's cracked too. 
How do you crack a DVD if you're just watching the damn movie? The fuck were you doing with it? You do not disrespect Bruce Lee like that. Kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the nuts again, Chie. He deserves it. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. See you, fucker. Uh, that's a recurring trend with Yosuke. Always getting kicked in the nads. You're Yuki, right? Y you wanna go hang out? Hi, somewhere? creepy Kyle A. Bear. How are you doing? Who are you? What's up with him? What school is he? It's the school of creepers. Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make That it sounds happen. creepy. Stop saying that. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge Dude, is? Dude, she's like a total ice queen. Uh, so uh, are you coming or not? Kyle Bear, I expected more attacks from you, good sir. Fine. Fine. See you fuckers. As a man who's also from Louisiana, I expect a little bit more politeness to ladies. What did he want? It's called Southern Hospitality, for God's sakes. <laughs> nah, Kyle's cool. That character, though, is creepy. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of Yeah, you, you gotta start slow. You don't just go immediately like that. Turn down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. The hell? I don't How's that cruel? He was being a total creeper. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get You're worse. married, Yosuke. Anyway, you are married, good Mr. Lowenthal. What would Tara Platt think? We're just curious, is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you in. She this. apologizes a lot in this game. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Cause they're jealous. <laughs> they're jealous of the Johnny Young Bosch. Do, 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 do. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of... Wow, crazy. you're really selling this place. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of... Wow. Huh? It's... A hotel is it. the pride of, of your oh, whole uh, city, huh? Sorts of or your town, huh? Treasure. Okay. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over. I'm not trying to shit on Yukiko's uh, inn, but still. Really? Not even a theme park or anything? It pretty much keeps this town going. Wow. No pressure. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute. Well, that's too early to say. Uh, well, I can't be rude. I think so, yeah. Don't start Come on, I hate it when the boys are all up on me. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? No, if she doesn't want to date, on, she doesn't have it. to. You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. So have you had a boyfriend? Are you saying that you're not popular? Wait, no, no. What I meant to say was I don't need. Yeah, you're a strong, independent woman who doesn't need no man. Jeez, GA. <laughs> This is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely Is that really a huge difference? Hey, what's that? As a guy who's from the city but who has relatives in the country, it's not really that big of a culture difference. So that high At least not in my case. Early, and as she came down this street. Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? 
I wanted to see mm, I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. It's just a picture of dick butt. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around. Or that. Wait. What did you How do you get a, a dead How do you get a dead body on top of that? Is my question. And I'll bring that up again later. What's happening, JB? Hey, what are you going doing? home? We're just passing by. Play it all cool. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through. Uh, you know this He's my guy? uncle. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh well. Is the word sense. uncle just like taboo in Japan? You three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Stop being nuisances. Let the police do their job. Hi, Johnny Young Bosch again. How are you doing? Eh. How long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? That's a dachi for you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Always such a chuckle fuck. I'll wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. You can't. Well, at least take a breath mint first. Your breath smells terrible once you after you vomit. Believe Is me. This what that announcement was about? That's why I have tons of mouthwash. What do they mean? It was you don't want to have shitty breath. Antenna. Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Yeah, dead bodies tend to get my stump All tend right, to get my appetite kind of killed too. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Yeah. Enough talk about dead bodies and that foreboding music. You decide to leave. Oh, so now I can just go wherever. Let's go to the shopping district. Just kind of explore, look around. Hey, Mr. Police Officer. Go on home. Go home. You don't belong here. Still I give, still I give. Wait, hang on. Let me get the guide all set up. Uh, okay, no, nothing really social linky happens yet. A crime? Really? Yeah, an emergency. No, I don't have to go back to work. Woo! Day off. To be fair, I'm kind of the same way in regard and in, in that way. Like there was a a severe rainstorm down here in a a little like a few like a month or two ago in Louisiana, and I was like, sweet, no school today. Woo! <laughs> uh, so there's not really much to do. Let's go ahead and oh, but let's go ahead and look at the shrine real quick. This will be important for a side quick for a social link later. We have no business here. So let's go ahead and leave the shopping district. All these places on the map are places that you can go for social links and for just after school activities. But for the moment, let's go ahead and just call it a day. Oh, and look, it's a scooter. That will actually that's actually a new feature for uh, pers for this uh, port version. So I know there wasn't really that much gameplay in this particular uh, in this particular episode, but let's go ahead and call it a video. And uh, that should be a decent little introduction. Oh, excuse me. Let's watch the news real quick. Hang out with Nanako, and then uh, on the next episode. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again. It makes me bummed out that Nanako has to deal with this on a daily basis. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case. So this is just quiet be kind of an introduction to the whole series, and on the next video we'll get into some real gameplay. Ooh, she's the lady from uh, the first newscast. A 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! 
<laughs> It'll be all right. Don't you worry. I know. That's his job, so this stuff he, he hangs out with a cyborg. And he's also the ruler of nightmares. I think he's got it. Atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are <laughs> uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. How is that an accident? She fell on a freaking radio antenna. And plans to fully canvas she was hanging from it. Tomorrow. How exactly is that an accident? Jesus. They found her on the roof? That's that scary. is scary. Oh, that'll clean up the murder right out of our heads. Oh, Juness will get me through this grim shit. Every day is great at your Juness. It's like the murder never even happened. Your Juness. Good for you. I forgot about that scary story, too. The Juness theme song is just so damn catchy. They got little bears on their TV. Yay! Are you okay, Nanako? Alright, I'll leave her alone. Okay, so that should do it for the first episode. So, let me know what you guys are thinking for, uh, for this particular series. Do you want to see some... Do you, which personas you want to see, which social links you want me to go for, for like the dating ones. Anything that you, that can, uh, or anything else that you guys can think of. Alright, until next time, thank you again for watching.